Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out Rockstar by Psykers. I was absolutely blown away by Tricky House. And uh, I talked a little bit about uh, some of the meanings of the video, but obviously I didn't know too much about the actual lore. I do want to read up a comment from my reaction to Tricky House, which I pinned actually. A comment by uh, Rosa e Ibiza. 0803. Um, so the concept of uh psychers is goblins. Uh the MV Korean title for Tricky House directly translates to Goblin House. So unlike Western ghost spirits, which are associated with the death of a human in Korean lore, they're nature-like spirits. And that's why you see the blue flames throughout the Tricky House MV. Since goblin, goblins are associated with blue flames in Korean lore. Goblins in the Korean lore can also transform into different things and take on different forms and so on. Um, they are legendary creatures from Korean mythology uh, and folklore. Folklore, sorry. Uh, do... Dokabi, also known as Korean goblins, are nature deities or spirits possessing extraordinary powers and abilities that are used to interact with humans, at times playing tricks on them, and at times helping them, which is why, you know, uh, as much as they were playing tricks on the guy in Tricky House, they were also kind of like helping him as far as like unleashing like his fantasies and with things that he wanted to do as far as like having fun and even like that car uh at the end of the music video but also like uh they incorporated both the ceiling the silliness as far as like the goblins having fun with it but also not taking it too far but actually helping him as well in the music video so now that we got this out of the way just wanted to touch on it just in case somebody may be wondering about the concept of psychers uh, and if you obviously have anything to add, feel free to do so in the comment section. Uh, let's get into Rockstar. Very, very excited about this one. So um, let's go. Rockstar pose there. Oh. There's that blue goblin flame. What the fuck? Let's take it back. This chorus uh, might be one of my favorite choruses of the year so far. Holy shit. Just when I thought that there's no way that they could top Tricky House, because that chorus went super hard, and like even like that first verse, the rap part, even... Holy... F holy shit. Let's take it back. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh my god. That was, that was interesting the way it almost felt like they were possessing him, much like uh, those goblins do to that person in Tricky House, in a way. Uh, like what that spirit does to you as it either tricks you or plays with you or helps you. Damn. It's like he was brought to life. That's how the choreography makes it seem. That spirit follows him everywhere nice. Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. This is almost like a prequel to Tricky House. Were you drinking or smoking? That was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. This legitimately feels like a prequel to Tricky House and how these guys became like those, like the Korean Goblin and whatnot, uh, with the blue flame following the, them everywhere. It's almost like a thing that saved them themselves. It was really, really interesting because you have like those eye visuals, like the cartoonish eyes on like buildings and whatnot that is almost like following them everywhere but then they become like that the, the blue flame in their eye and also like that tornado as we get to the bridge uh that gets very very deep uh as far as like all of the scores that i faced so it, it almost like portrays uh like that spirit spirit that took over me is something that helped me in becoming a better person but also facing my own reality like and that's why i was able to take it so it feels like it feels like that spirit can only you can become that that thing basically if you um are at peace with yourself in a way if that makes any sense uh like you have no ill intents so to speak like if your heart is pure but just because your heart is pure doesn't mean that you don't go through like hardships and whatnot so it, it feels like uh they were taken over by like this energy and all that kind of stuff and it's something that helped them face their past while unlocking like their 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 present and be able to live in the in unlocking their future and allow them to live uh in the present and live their life to the fullest um which is why they feel like a rock star uh this is how like these flames and this added uh energy makes them feel so alive and whatnot it's really really cool like even the lyrics like my own megaphone rapping maestro like uh my ego is stadium which i guess it kind of like relates to them as a group as far as like wanting to perform on like some some of the biggest stages and honestly we're just two songs into them and it feels like this song in particular can annihilate a stadium tricky house can also do that but but this song like the the part of me that is very much into the heavier stuff just uh I feel I felt like I was possessed by by their energy there. It, it, it truly it felt so fucking amazing 
to hear that instrumental and to get dropped on your head and in, in that chorus and then that switch up was just incredible and like the entire uh flow of this music video and their energy in general if there's one thing that i can kind of compare to uh with a tease and it's something that i was thinking about in the previous reaction it's not that they sound like a tease it's not like they're trying to emulate a tease it's the fact that they have the energy of someone like a tease as far as like going crazy on the performance aspect like i talk a lot about crack energy when i react to ATs, and i feel that here with psychers 100 percent. which doesn't necessarily mean that i'm comparing them to ATs, but maybe it's just a thing from the production company itself like they have like the kind of passion that they have that is truly apparent like you can see it on their faces this is not a passion that can be acted this is this is a passion that they legitimately have and um uh, it feels like they are incredibly happy to be in the position that they're in. It doesn't feel none of it. The way that they perform and the, the way that they move, they legitimately feel possessed by that spirit, by that goblin uh, energy and whatnot. It, it was truly fucking incredible. Also, they actually talk about uh, be okay even if people tease you that you are peculiar. Like, just at the core of it all, uh, it's okay you and I are different. At the core of it all, they still deliver a message that we're a rock star because we are unique, not because we're all trying to be the same. Uh, so it's okay for us to be different and don't be afraid if somebody teases you or thinks of you as something less just because you are into different things. Uh, you know, uh, it's okay to be different. So if, even though these lyrics, they, they don't necessarily break grounds in terms of like, they tell you what you pretty much need to hear on a daily basis because the hatred gets so fucking toxic sometimes that you almost like need reassurances, especially with a group as young as they are, a group that just debuted, if I'm not mistaken, right, with Tricky House. Um, it feels incredibly powerful uh, because I can only imagine already the amount of pressure that is on them, especially, you know, coming on the heels, you know, coming after like someone like ATs, which was obviously like my first association when I heard about the production company. Uh, and yet already within two songs, two music videos, they were able to separate themselves, even with Tricky House. I was not thinking about ATs in the sense of like the production, even though the Hoon Jung was one of the producers or so, something among those lines. It didn't feel like they're trying to emulate them. It felt like they're trying to be different. They're trying to be uh, they're not trying to be the Robin to ATs as Batman. They're trying to be their own separate superhero, if that makes any sense. It's beautiful on the part of, you know, the, the KQ Entertainment themselves, too, as far as, like, giving them all of this, uh, this freedom and uh, the kind of energy that they portray uh, is absolutely incredible. I, I really, really love this song. And, uh, you know, it, it felt so energetic. The, the lyrics felt so in tune with them being like this young group that is full of, of passion, that is filled with, you know, uh, so much fight in them. Uh, it, it, it legitimately feels like they're going to war and nothing is going to stop them. So uh, this was incredible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the week and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.